I'm here with head coach Garen Stokes of the Minster Wildcats. Coach, what does this team look like so far? Uh, kind of where we're always at this time of the year, trying to find our own identity, uh, find out what we're good at, trying to get exposed to what we're not good at and uh, try to fix those issues. So um, we got a, we got a handful of seniors that are leading us. Uh, they've worked their tail off. Um, so kind of just in the processing stage of finding who we are as a football team. You had a scrimmage yesterday at Bell Fountain. How did that scrimmage kind of teach your players? Yeah, we're going to break that down. Our guys, I thought our guys went really hard. Um, and it's just like any first scrimmage, it's really messy. Uh, so there's a ton of things that you fix and um, things you coached you thought you'd, you had covered and they weren't executed. So you go back and try to fix those issues. But um, our effort was there and uh, we just got to do what all teams are doing right now and try to get better. You played quarterback at Urbana, and you're an offensive-minded guy. How does how or how has your offensive system been implemented on this team? Uh, uh, we kind of just kind of figure out what our best kids can do, uh, and, and what our strengths are offensively, and try to mix those things in with any type of scheme that we have. Um, but we, we try to get our best players the ball in space. We try to line up and run the football when we need to run the football. Um, we're not really anything crazy. It's just try to do what our best kids can do. So uh, hopefully try to score some points. Week one, you're at Fort Loramie, rivalry game, big game and a great way to start the season. Uh, what are your thoughts on that? Yeah, we love it. Uh, that just creates an urgency in, in how we do things all year, uh, especially during this time of the year. Um, you know, you know if, you, if you take a day off, uh, you have a bad Tuesday or a bad Wednesday, that you're going to get beat week one, and that's a big game. Uh, the communities, I think, take a lot of pride in it. So uh, we're excited. It, it makes us better. How has your senior class evolved from last season? Yeah, our, our senior class is interesting. They, they, they've been the class that has been really talented for a, a lot of years and um, haven't really done anything yet. So uh, a, a bunch of good kids uh, trying to find their way, I mean, trying to lead our program, wanting to be a part of – uh, tradition that, that kids before them have built and uh, we're excited to see how we handle adversity throughout this year because in, in the past we haven't handled adversity real well and um, it's it, it's going to be a cool learning experience a growing experience for our guys especially this group of seniors that um, need need to need to perform at a high level and the opposite of those seniors are the freshmen the new guys the new ones on the team how have they embraced your system and playing high school ball so far we love our young guys our, our love our young guys are incredible uh work their tails off really low maintenance uh just show up in, in blue collar guys that that want to do work and do whatever we ask of them so we're excited about that group other than Lormy week one what are some other matchups that you've seen and you're excited for on your schedule yeah our whole schedule's loaded our whole schedule's good so um we love that part of it. It's it's the place you want to be if you want to be really good. You better you better go show up every single day, uh, be at a high level every single opportunity that you have, or you're going to get beat. So uh, week in week out, that's that's the way it is. So our ten camp days and then our our two a day stuff and all all this stuff in August, you you can't have a wasted day. or You're going to get your butt beat. So uh, that that wakes us up every morning, gets us jacked up. We're excited about that part. Our schedule is awesome. Coach Garen Stokes of the Minster Wildcats. Stay tuned for more team previews on WOSN.